What's up fishing fam? I'm gonna be showing you guys how effective the Ned Rig is. It can catch bass any time of the year, any water color, pretty much any depth. So I'm gonna show you guys how good this little bait is called the Ned Rig. Check it out right there guys, second cast with the Ned Rig, right there, see that Ned Rig sticking out his mouth right there? Second cast guys, you guys just seen that. That bait, the Ned Rig, is killer. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to rig the Ned Rig and how to fish with the Ned Rig, so stay tuned. Let's get this bad boy released. Thank you for biting the Ned Rig. Thank you, Jack. Guys, I just got another one, but a little Pleco came up right here, right down here, and uh, I dropped my little uh, Ned Rig down there to see if he would bite it and as soon as it hit bottom this bass grabbed it right here right by this wall right here like probably an inch away from the wall crazy they love that Ned Rig guys I'm telling you see you later dirty Dennis see you later Dylan see you later Jimmy See you later, John. I just lost two of them on the Ned Rig back to back and they're probably like two pounders. The first one kind of got a little stuck on something on the way in and then it came out and I, I had them coming in just fine and then it just spit the hook. And then, you know, maybe like two casts later, I hook up to another big one, maybe two pounds or bigger halfway in it spits the hook again so i uh, i switched up to a um a uh, a different uh net head because the uh the hook on that one was was coated and uh on the tip of the um of the hook it was like the coating came off and there was like the the actual hook on there because there's like a coating on uh on the bass pro shop ones that i was using but I switched over to the actual Ned Rig, the Ned Rig ones from uh, Z-Man. Um, I was experimenting with both of them. I, I did have problems with the Bass Pro Shop ones because they're coated and when the coat comes off on the tip, um, you can't hook the fish. It, it doesn't hold the fish on any longer. So 
I switched back up to the Z-Man uh, shroom heads and I'm back to catching them again and the hooks are super sharp and they're not coated with anything so that's a plus. You guys got to make sure you get the shroom heads by Z-Man and I like to use the 16th ounce. I'm going to go over everything at the end of the video guys so don't even worry about it. See you later Dennis. Trevor. See you later Daryl. See you later Tyrone. Alright guys, last little bass of the day. I lost a couple of them, they were over two pounds. They just spit the hook. I was using a Bass Pro Shop uh, Ned Rig hook and it was like coated and uh, the tip um, of the hook, the coat came off and it was messing up all my hook sets and I lost two good ones, they're about two pounds. They're halfway in and then they, the hook just came out their mouth. All right guys, I'm gonna release this fish right here and show you guys everything you need to know to catch bass on a Ned Rig. See you later, Curtis. All right, guys. This is how I caught him. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna show you how I fish with the Ned Rig. This is exactly how I catch fish on the Ned Rig. First of all, I'm gonna show you guys the rods that I use and then I'll be showing you guys the baits. My first rod I'm gonna show you guys is a medium action Shimano Crucial. It's a 7.2 medium action and the lure weight is 1 8 to 3 8. The line weight is 6 pound to 12 pound line. The reel that I use on this is a Cast King Sharky 1500 and I have it spooled with 15 pound Power Pro braided line and I have a liter of six pound pea line. Now I'm gonna show you guys the next rod I use. It's a medium heavy Skeet Reese uh, Victory Carbon. It's a, uh, it says on here it's a um, tube and a jig rod, but um, I like to use it for uh, plastics, um, 16th ounce to um, what, all the way up to maybe a quarter ounce. Um, the line weight on here is 8 to 15 pound line and uh, the uh, lure weight is quarter ounce to three quarter ounce. It's a uh, carbon um, composite rod. So with these type of rods you lose a little bit of sensitivity. You get a lot more action in your rod you can see how far it bends into the rod almost you know it's like the middle of the rod it's, this is like a parabolic rod as they say um, this one works great um, I love parabolic rods that's, that's that's all I have I don't have anything else um, I feel like uh, the fish stay pinned uh, better with uh, rods that bend in the middle compared to the ones that uh, start bending right at the tip of the rod. The reel that I use on this rod is a pin Battle 2 2500 and I have it spooled with a 15 pound Power Pro braid and I have a liter of a 8 pound Iser line. Now let me tell you guys how I work this bait. What I do is I'll fire it parallel um, to the shoreline maybe about um, shoot I'll even work it three feet away from the bank or uh, ten feet out and um, I'll also just fan cast usually I'll give it um, about uh, 20 minutes in that spot after I've cast it down the bank and I've worked it on both sides and I fan cast it all the way around and cover the whole area the main areas that you want to be fishing this bait are more sandy areas, rocky areas. I'm gonna be doing a lot more informational videos like this one, guys. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to um, use all various baits, plastics, hard baits, you name it. And I'm gonna show you guys what rods, what reels I use, 
and um, exactly how I worked the bait and caught the fish on it. I'm gonna show you guys how I work the bait now. What I do, I'll fire it out there, make a long cast, click the bell over with your hands because clicking the bell over with your reel and turning in, flipping this bell over, it'll mess up your reel. So if you wanna save the life of your reels, I flip it over with your hands as you usually do, fire it out there and shut it with your hands and your reels will last you a lot longer. All right, so once I make that far cast out there, I'll, I'll um, reel in my slack a little bit once it hits bottom and I'll lift up really slow because a lot of the times with this, um, I would say uh, maybe 40% of the time, you're gonna get the bite on the fall or as soon as it hits bottom. So what you wanna do is lift up real slow once you cast out there and it hits bottom. Lift up real slow because you'll feel the fish on there. And what'll happen is you'll lift up and your line will get tight and then you'll feel the fish tug and your, your pole will start going down because the fish is gonna start taking off with it in its mouth. And then from there, all you got to do is just pull back. Don't do a hook set like you're uh, flipping um, some heavy cover like that and just set the hook super hard. You don't want to do that. You'll actually blow the, the Ned Rig out the fish's mouth. So what you want to do is get your line tight. When, it starts, when he starts taking your line and, and your pole starts going down like that, what you want to do is just pull back just that fast. Reel down, pull back. You can either reel down and, um, and uh, do it that way, or you can let them just take off with it a little bit. Only let them run about, I let them run about maybe a foot at the most. And then uh, I'll just set the hook from there and I just pull back. Now, the way that I work it is, after I fire it out, fire it out there, I'll, um, like I was saying, lift up my rod real slow. If I don't feel the bite right then, then I'll just, jig my rod a little bit and what I do is I'll, I'll just hop it maybe uh, maybe a foot at a time so what I do is I'll just let it sit maybe three to seven seconds you're gonna have to test this out some some lakes are more pressure than other and uh, others and then um, you know it's a totally different environment in a different lake so now I'm gonna show you guys the jig heads and uh, the baits that I use I use the uh, the Ned Rig Heads by uh, Z-Man. It has a really thin wire hook on it. As you can see, it has a, uh, a keeper on there. So when you slide your baits up, um, your baits stay on there and it keeps them from sliding down your hook. Also with it being um, a shroom head, it's flat on the bottom and your hook stays straight up in the air and it just bounces on the bottom with your bait sticking straight up in the air. This is the bait right here that I um, primarily throw. It's a uh, three inch sticko by Bass Pro Shop. This one right here is a green pumpkin with black flake. And I'll also throw one um, that is watermelon with a uh, red flake or black flake in it also. Well, I hope you guys learned something from this video. There's gonna be a lot more to come, probably about uh, 15 to 20 more videos. Um, from this series. I'm not going to name this series, but um, I'm just going to be doing a lot more informational videos for you guys. As always guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching or you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button right there. Um, it really keeps me motivated to make more videos when I see my subscriber count go up. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, I'll see you guys next weekend. Peace out. I believe in miracles.